What's up everybody, LUI here. A few updates from uh, Dennis uh, Wolf, the German giant. This guy, you know, is the best, one of the best in the world. He's doing battle pretty much always for that third, second spot at the Mr. Olympia. He's the most diced guy in the top four, right? So pretty much, right? Unfortunately, uh, if you guys aren't aware, he had a, a serious injury, as a matter of fact, a few weeks ago. And he uh, underwent um, surgeries, uh, maybe please. This was uh, five weeks ago where he was about to undergo that uh, operation. So let's hear him back then. Centennial Hospital in Las Vegas. Uh, yeah. See you in a few hours. And uh, you can hear some updates from me. That's what's also probably he was already under anesthesia because he was about to go uh, to sleep. Since then, uh, pretty much did not receive much pictures about him except a uh, few footage here and there and old footage for that matter. We also had this video uh, post uh, surgery. He was back home. Hello, everyone. This is Dennis Wolf. As you can see, I'm back home from my surgery this morning. Uh, so it means surgery went really, really good. And um, yeah, I'll keep you up to date. The recovery starts soon. Everyone. So that was the recovery process uh, starting about five weeks ago. Uh, since then, uh, most of the picture was TBT, right? TBT means uh, throwback uh, Thursday or just throwback to old days. This was pretty much an old, old picture. Before he became a top IFBB, he was still a youngster. I'm guessing this is at least six to um, six to seven years old, if not uh, older. He was next to uh, Dennis uh, James, probably. They were back in, in uh, Kuwait. So this was uh, nine years ago, TBT from 2007. Um, this was, where was it? Uh, well, it is an Arabic uh, country. I, I'm guessing it is Kuwait for all I know. Uh, right, we had no footage until uh, today. I mean, this dude is just uh, humongous. This picture is not photoshopped. He looks like this. This is one of his best poses. Um, actually, the back double bicep, right? And uh, we had also this video about him saying that he will uh, restart a trading. So let's hear him. This was two weeks ago, right? So he had the green light to start um, the workout um, yet again, and uh, you know another some uh, TBT here throwback Thursday when he was doing a side chest. He was it was big, but needless to say, guys, I mean we must be prepared for uh, for this. He posted this is a throwback for you. Of course, it is hard for the for the mental for for the morale. Right? He did not show any picture until this one. And of course, obviously, he's no longer the same muscular, massive man. I mean, gains uh, have been uh, lost for sure. He's not been outangled uh, by this modified uh, Benz. I think it's a Brabus. Uh, this is a Brabus sign or Carlson Benz. Anyway, uh, you know, God bless him. Uh, he's not a youngster. He's not a teenager in the game. He's been around since ever. This guy is doing battle at top IFBB since since a decade or so. He was doing battle uh, back in Jay Cutler's era, as you guys remember. Uh, we wish him well. I don't know the severity of his injury. Uh, I don't know if he will be able to come back uh, fully. A lot of guys actually never came back to their full potential around his age. As you guys know, Jay Cutler, he had a, a bicep injury doing some uh, rows, I think, for the back end. He was never able to come back, right? Same goes with Ronnie Coleman. Dorian Yates, for intents and purposes, was retired uh, by injuries. And also the slew accumulation of injuries in Brent Warren's case took a toll on his, um, on his physique, in my opinion. He does not look um, as, as good as he used um, to be. Uh, as opposed to a guy who is Dexter Jackson, who is older than all these guys... Yet he is still rolling, but he is kind of a conservative guy, never get injured. 
and uh, the current Mr. Olympia, Mr. Phil Heath, is following the footstep uh, of, of Dexter Jackson, meaning he is conservative in his training. And even a guy, a guy as huge as Big Ramy, even though you see him, you know, pushing some more than 200 pounds dumbbells in, in some um, chest uh, press, um, it's not that heavy for him. Believe me, he does not struggle like Ronnie Coleman was uh, struggling. Ro uh, I speak with uh, with uh, with Big Ramy uh, trainer. His name is Alnaki, and you know he does not go full crazy heavy on him because he knows that it will take a toll and it is a risky business. You're just pretty much uh, flirting with, with injuries on a daily basis. That's it, uh, Mr. Dennis. Of course, I mean, needless to say, look at him like this. You will not see him in Mr. Olympia for sure. No way in hell. Of course, you forgot about him. Uh, as a matter of fact, we will not see him competing probably this year at all. Forget about 2016. Uh, hopefully, he will make it. Hopefully, the injury is not, uh, you know, career damaging because he is one of the best conditioned guy. I mean, we love him there. He has. He doesn't have the you know the, the best uh, genetics. He has some highlights. Uh, his scalps are not loyal, but he does battle, and sometimes he beats you know uh, Sean Rodden and even Dexter Jackson. That's what's up, guys. Salute you and if you are. Don't forget to like the video, you know, and uh, let's wish him Godspeed. I mean, I love this guy. This guy is a gentleman of the sport. He never ever ever speaks bad about other uh, competitors. He never goes into beef. He's just a gentle giant. That's what's up.